Thank you, Tero, for the introduction. My name is Francois Simon, and I work at Etiersoft as a sales manager. Today, during this webinar, we will dive into the utilization of filters in batch operations. On today's agenda, we'll start with a short introduction to filters, followed by a demonstration of their practical application in SOLIDWORKS. Our aim is to familiarize you with the configuration process so that you can confidently create your own filters. The filters feature is available in both the basic and professional version of custom tools. If you have the custom tools task adding installed in SOLIDWORKS PDM, the filter will also be accessible within SOLIDWORKS PDM professional. These filters can be utilized to select or exclude drawing sheets, drawings, parts, or assemblies from processing in the batch operation. They can be defined using various criteria and linked to a print, file conversion, or drawing automation profile. What issues are we attempting to address? So previously with custom tools, users could only select filters uh, What issues are we attempting to address? Previously with custom tools, users could only filter the drawing sheets for processing based on the sheet name, or the drawing or drawing sheets of the active or reference configuration. This solution was not effective as it resulted in many irrelevant files created during the conversion or printing, taking time away from design work. Custom tools processed all documents regardless of their relevance, requiring users to manually go through the process document and remove any unnecessary files. As you will soon observe, you can create simple filters or more advanced filters depending on your specific needs. Multiple filters can be combined within the same batch operation profile. These filters can be utilized to select or exclude specific files for your batch operation, apply specific conversion settings to selected files, improve efficiency by only processing relevant files. Filters can be assigned to your file conversion, batch printing, and during automation profiles. When utilizing batch operation templates that consist of several actions, the filters will work as expected if they are attached to a batch operation profile. With each release of custom tools, we have expanded the filtering capabilities to optimize file selection. Custom tools provide numerous options for configuring filters, and they can be defined based on the file type, model or drawing property, file name, path or configuration. In our talk, Let's move to SOLIDWORKS to see it in action. In batch operations, we have three types of filters, sheet selection, configuration selection, and SOLIDWORKS model selection. Today, we will review all these filters. First, we'll cover how to associate a print or conversion profile with specific sheets of a drawing. Let's open the batch operation dialog, and we can check the file conversion profiles. As we can see here, we have already a list of predefined file conversion rules. And as we can see here, some of them have an icon on the left side. That icon indicates that the filter has already been defined. But let's get started with the DXF from drawing, which is used to create DXF file from the drawings. As we can see here, when I select the DXF from drawing, it only selects specific sheets of the drawing, which, has the, which start with the name DXF. If I right click on the profile and click the advanced settings, I can activate the drawing tab. And here we can see that we can define the name that we want to use uh, to select the specific sheet of the drawing to be processed. I can also use some rules for example, to combine multiple uh, criteria together, or if I want to exclude specific sheets from being processed, I could also use the NOT, which I'm doing now. If I click OK, the file conversion rule will be saved, and if I uncheck and recheck the box, we can see here that now the DXF one has been excluded. 
Now, let's check how we can filter the file selection to process only the drawings of or the uh, sheets of specific configuration referenced in the main assembly. So I will close the batch operation dialog and here I have a part and that part has three different configuration. In SOLIDWORKS, I have one drawing and then I have specific sheet that are referencing those specific configuration. So if we now navigate here to that part, we can see here that we have the part that had multiple configuration. And if we check the drawing, we can see that we have specific sheet for each configuration. When I select the manufacturing file conversion profile, we can see that only the sheet one has been selected. So we can ask custom tools to select the uh, drawing or then the drawing sheets of the active or reference configuration. Once again, I can visit the uh, profile rule. And here I have the uh, checkbox that says an is reference by mobile configuration. By selecting that checkbox, I ensure that only the drawings or the sheet of the active configuration will be selected. Finally, let's review the third filter that can be used to select or exclude SOLIDWORKS files in batch operation. Custom Tools provides various options to define filters, ranging from simple to complex. Let's get started with the uh, basic uh, filter. So here we can see if we stay on the uh, uh, manufacturing file conversion profile, which is used to create PDF file, we can see that specific drawings have been selected. So I can use a custom property to define uh, the, the filter. Here I'm using the make or buy property. So basically all the 3D models that have the uh, property defined as make have their drawings selected for the configuration for manufacturing. Before we go any deeper, let's check how we can add a property here to be used as a filter. So first, if I visit here the option, so I can take uh, custom properties that has been defined in custom tool. So here I have a lookup list and the property make or buy. And I want to use that property for the filter. So it's already used, but I could show you the checkbox that needs to be selected. So I will edit the property and then navigate to the additional option in the property wizard. And I just need to ensure that the display in print and convert checkbox is selected. This will enable the property to be used for filtering. Filters can be accessed from two different places in custom tools, from the custom tools option. If you go to the uh, file conversion, the print properties of the drawing creation, or then directly from the batch operation dialog. If I select here the manufacturing and click on edit the filter, so we have the filter without that will automatically open. And as I mentioned earlier, filters can be used to select or exclude files from the selection. So if you have the cleared, then you will automatically define a filter that excludes files from being selected. But now we want to select files that are make or buy and have the property make. So here you have different uh, filter criteria that you can uh, select. We are going to review those more in detail later on during the webinar. So here I want to use a, a property from the uh, model. Here I can select the property that is available for filtering. So we have the make or buy. Here I can define what should be the uh, value from if it needs to be exactly the same, if it's different, if it's start and width and contains and so on. And here I need to define the uh, value for the filter to select or exclude the file. So now let's return to the print and convert. Let's explore some more advanced filters where multiple filters are attached to a batch operation profile. So here we have the machining uh, profile that will create step from part. So for that filter, I'm using the custom property machining. So we can see we have a yes or no value. So it needs to be yes. And also I have asked custom tools to exclude files from the design libraries, or it could also be the toolbox from being selected. Once I select the uh, file conversion rule, 
we can see here that even though the the, the bolt and also the nut needs to be uh, machined, they are not selected compared to other files. So let's open the filter. So here we have the uh, other way to access the filter directly from the batch operation dialog. So here we can see that uh, we can add like uh, rules and also new group of rules for more advanced filtering. And here we have possibilities to define. If we have multiple rules, we can have the end or or none. If we use the end, then both criteria needs to match. If it's or, it needs to be one or the other. And none is just to exclude. So here I could add a new rule and I could, for example, have the, uh, for example, if I want to have the uh, file name and I want the file name to start with a specific letter. So this is how we can build a bit more advanced filter. Also from the file type, we can see here that we can have uh, for example, we can also exclude toolbox components or design library components. So I can open the SolidWorks option to show you how we are, uh, what we are using to exclude toolbox component or part from the design library. So if I open the file location, here if I select the uh, design library, we can see here that we have a list of folders that have been added to the SolidWorks option and this is what custom tools is using to exclude like files that are defined for the uh, uh, toolbox components or the design library. This also applies if you are using the copy and excluding files from the uh, from 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 design files from being copied and renamed. Finally, let's examine complex filtering which involves using multiple conditions and rules. With complex filters we can ensure that only the desired documents are processed. So here we are going to uh, define a filter for the part to convert. As we can see here, we don't have any uh, filters defined. And I have some parts that I'm using the uh, raw color system. So we could check in fact from the uh, option, if I select a part, open the properties, so we can see here that I'm using the uh, RAL color system and you can see here I have RAL and then I have like the specific RAL code that has been inserted. So as we can see all my, uh, the, the custom property RAL color starts with RAL and then some, some, something. This will be important later on. So let's open the option and let's have the uh, RAL color property so we can edit it and first we are going to add it to be used in the print and convert to be used as a filter. This is now done. I can click OK and I can return here to the uh, print and convert and we can check how to create a filter from the batch operation dialog. So when I go to the batch operation, so first we can see here that the raw color is now available here. So if I click here on the part to uh, paint, so we can see that all the parts are selected by default, but we only want to select the part that uh, start with the, uh, that has uh, RAL color. So here I'm going to select a reference uh, model property. I'm going to select the RAL color. And as I know that all the part that needs to be painted start with the RAL, so I can use here the start. So I can type here the RAL. Please note that this is case uh, sensitive and I can save it here and attach it to the filter. If I don't select this uh, checkbox, I can still use the filter, but if I close the batch operation dialog, the filter will not be saved. So as we can see here, now only the part that have a right color have been selected. But I want to go a bit deeper with the filters and I want to only include parts that are sheet metal. So we can see here we have the uh, little V here that indicates that those parts here are sheet metal. So if we return to the filters, I can now add a rule and here I'm going to use the end and I can have the uh, file type. So it's a drawing of a sheet metal and I just click next and once again will attach and save the rules to the part to print. As we can see, now we are even going a bit deeper with the file selection. And I'm going to add one more filter or group of uh, filter. If you check here, 
I have my the, the name of my SOLIDWORKS documents are starting with the letter D and also the letter E and I have also a third one. I have also here the letter C. I know that parts that are starting with letter C do not be do not need to be painted. So I can I want to exclude those parts. So if I return here to the filter, I can now add a group. So here I will use the OR and I want to use custom tools to uh, filter the files to select based on the file name. So I want that basically the, the, the file name start with the letter D and also that it starts with the letter E. So basically we are going to exclude uh, all other files. So once again, I can click on finish. And if you check here, now this part has been like automatically excluded. So if I click OK, custom tools would start to do the file conversion. But let's now close SOLIDWORKS and we can go to SOLIDWORKS PDM. So here I am in my uh, SOLIDWORKS PDM and I'm using SOLIDWORKS PDM Pro where I have defined a custom tools task add-in. So this allows you to launch tasks directly from the, the, the vault view or then trigger a task on the chain state or a transition. If I go here, I can open the uh, file conversion and this will open exactly the same batch operation dialog as the one we just saw in SOLIDWORKS. And now I'm going to show you how we can use the uh, template. So here I have the uh, initial drawing and this will be used to basically select a, a drawing automation rule and also a batch conversion rule. So first let's select that uh, profile. So as we can see here, custom tools is going to uh, create manufacturing drawings. So we are going to create uh, drawings that for parts that did not have any drawings and that needs to be manufacturer so that have the property make define. Then we are also going to create a merge PDF of all the new drawings that were created. So we can check here the uh, filter and here from the file type we have also the possibility to select the drawing. So this can be used in combination with the drawing automation. I can click uh, cancel and I will click OK. So now custom tool is going to create a task in SOLIDWORKS PDM. And in the meantime, we can also open the admin tool of uh, custom tool so we can go a bit deeper in the, in the uh, uh, filters and the different rules that we can use to define the filter. So I will open the profile option. So here I will return here. And let's open here the filters. So we can see that SOLIDWORKS is open in the background because SOLIDWORKS PDM is now running the uh, file, the, the creating the drawing and creating the merge PDF. So here we can see that we have different, uh, basically different criteria that we can use. So let's start with the file type. So here we can define if it is or it's not. And then we can define here what what should be the uh, selection. So for example, if you want to only convert drawing of the uh, top level assembly, we could have here the root component drawing. If you want to select drawing of a part or drawing of a sheet metal, drawing of an assembly. So this will also take into consideration if you have like sub assembly, that is the difference with this one. For the new drawing, so if you are using the um, uh, drawing creation option in custom tools that will create a drawing, we can also filter those files that will be created during the batch operation. And finally, the design library component. So those are the different types that are available in custom tools. Then we can use properties. So we have seen in the uh, webinar that we can use a property from the model, but we could also use a property from the drawing. Remember to add the uh, property, you need to select that checkbox to ensure that the property can be used as filter. We can also use the uh, file name, the path, and then the configuration. So here, if I have the uh, file name, you see here we have again the same type of uh, string that can be defined. And same applies here for the uh, path and also for the configuration. 
This could be used if you want to exclude, for example, specific configuration from being processed. Okay, so we can now return to the uh, SolidWorks PDM. And if we just like refresh, we should now have some files that were automatically uh, added here. So we have the uh, converted files. Here we have the uh, PDF that was created. And now we can open the PDF file. And here we can see all the different drawings that was created with custom tools. And we also use the merge PDF option to create a PDF files. It can be easier for you to review those files. That is all what we had for you today. So thank you for being part of this uh, session. Before we conclude, don't forget to register for our upcoming webinar where you can uh, learn about configuring custom tools with SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional with Themo, that will be your host. Thank you all and have a nice day. We are in the life-saving business. We kill your routines before they kill you.